Hello friends, we learned different formulae related to motion in the last lesson. We will take some real problems and try to solve them using these formulae. Say a train was running at 54 km per hour. The driver saw a red signal 300 meters away and applied the brake immediately. How long will it take for the train to stop? Can it stop before signal on time if it deaccelerates at 0.5 meter per second square rate? Which formula to use? Let us first calculate time it will take to stop. So we know initial velocity u is equal to 54 km per hour. The final velocity v would be 0 as the train needs to stop and acceleration a is equal to minus 0 0.5 meter per second square. Why negative? As this is an example of deacceleration, final velocity is less than initial velocity. We take a as, a as minus 0 0.5. As acceleration is in meter per second square, we convert the initial velocity to meter per second form. So 1 kilometer is equal to 1000 meter and 1 r is equal to 60 into 60 that is 3600 seconds. So u is equal to 54 kilometer by 1 hour which is equal to 54,000 meter divided by 16 to 60 seconds. So if we solve it, it comes out to be 15 meter per second. So we use v is equal to u plus 80. By replacing the values we get 0 is equal to 15 minus 0 0.5 into t. Remember, acceleration is equal to minus 0.5 meter per second square. It is negative because it is a case of deacceleration. So t is equal to 15 by 0.5 which is equal to 30 seconds. So it will take 30 seconds before train stops. Now how far will the train go in 30 seconds? It has to be less than 300 meters as the signal is 300 meters away. So now which formula should we use to find the distance? We can use s equal to ut plus half at square as we know u, a and t. But say if we didn't calculate t, we could directly use v square minus u square equal to 2 as. So let's use it. v is equal to 0, u is equal to 15 meter per second and a is equal to minus 0.5 meter per second square. So it becomes 0 square minus 15 square is equal to 2 into minus 0 0.5 into s that we need to find. So it becomes minus 225 is equal to minus 1 into s so s equal to 225 meter. So it will stop at 225 meters safely before the red signal which is 300 meters away. Wow! A sigh of relief, right? But these train drivers are very alert and they know that there might be red signal ahead so they keep looking for it and that's why we don't have train accidents that many we'll take some more real life problems in the next video till then bye bye